thee whole. Thy faith have made thee whole. Now we need to understand beyond a shadow of any every doubt that it doesn't matter what denomination you claim, it doesn't matter what part of the earth you are in, it doesn't matter if you, you black, white, green, yellow, fat, short, skinny, 8 to 80, blind, crippled, or crazy. If you ain't got no faith, you ain't none of his, flat out. You're either a believer or a non-believer. And as a believer, we are to give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You are to give thanks for the good, the bad, the ugly. You're supposed to be thanking God for your enemies. And the Bible just showed how we are supposed to be giving thanks by worshiping him. John 14, 15 says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And the prophetic word God gave me concerning people saying thank you. And my response to them is thank me with your love. I mean, if you're a person that say, well, I need $10, I'll give you $10. And you say thank you and give me the $10 back, you still have me the $10. So you can't thank me with the same measure that I've thanked you with. Or given to you. It doesn't work that way. You have to thank me a different kind of way. And that's what God is requiring. And I've been preaching on this type of stuff for a while. You know, holy days and the feast of the Lord and all these different things. And, and what the Spirit is still continuing to say is that if you love Him, you need to keep His commandments. And if His commandments are contrary to where you're worshiping and what y'all believe in, you something's going to have to give. That's, that's where we're back to the 99 and the 1, or the 9 and the 10. He says, wasn't there 10 cleansed? How come there's just one? Where the rest of them at? You don't want, you don't want that to be, be you. You don't want to be the one who God then, then giving you everything you need to prosper, to walk, live, and talk in this journey, and you ain't giving him thanks for it. And he knows. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you and praise you for whatever eyes have seen, our ears have heard. I thank you for the platform of Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and YouTube for playback, Father God. I, I, I know, trust, and believe in my heart of hearts that you are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, and the end. You are everything. Father God, forgive us for all the sins we've sinned against you. It, it is you that we have sinned against, Father God. First and foremost, we believe beyond the shadow of any and every doubt, you are everything you said you was, is, and is to come in your word, Father God. I thank you personally, Father God. I can't thank you for anybody else for everything you've done and doing, Lord Jesus, and everything you're about to do. I refuse to follow after pagan, secular, Gregorian calendar holidays for the simple fact that there, it's not in my word. It's not in my Bible. I don't care how, how long this tradition has been going along. I will not follow the traditions of men under any circumstances. And I realize in doing so and making that stance, Father God, I place myself in line to receive the promise, promises of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You've called us to be a set-apart, peculiar people. And there's nothing set-apart, holy, or peculiar about doing what the world is doing. I thank you for the Holy Ghost power to give me the strength to stand on the Word, regardless of what's going on around me. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. I just pray sincerely that God will continually bless you, and heaven's face will continually and always smile upon you. God bless you.